What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today we are going to talk about a juicy rumor going around. And uh, I was notified of this by the amazing account known as geeksandgamers.com, uh, at geeksgamers.com. Give us a follow if you have not yet. My team does a great job of running that account, and I appreciate that. But the rumor is Mike Richardson, Dark Horse Comics founder, the creator of the 90s Jim Carrey hit film The Mask, approves the idea of it being rebooted with a female lead. And it would be stylized in a Deadpool-like tone. What do you think? Drop a comment below. Well, what do you think I think about this? You know what I think about this. Uh, I personally, I'm going to say go for it. Go for it so we can have another Ghostbusters failure on our hands. Like, seriously. Why did the mask work? Why? The mask worked because Jim Carrey was a megastar at that point in time. Extremely talented, extremely funny amazing job. Jim Carrey is the reason that was such a success. Um, what are people saying in the comments? Let's check the comments. Uh, let's see. I'd rather, I'd rather see an Alita Battle Angel sequel. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. But, you know, they want to ignore Alita because they want to tell us that we're all racist and sexist and intimidated by women because we don't want to see a stupid reboot idea that is predominantly focused on being a female lead. Not about It's not about bringing uh, this franchise back to life. It's about bringing it back to life with a female lead. They've already decided the identity politics are going to be pushed into it. It's, 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 it's all it is. It's, it's them trying to change our perception of all of these franchises to show the whammon in it and how respectful we got to be of whammon. Uh, you have Alita, this amazing film that was, you know, successful, not overly successful. Why? Because the media didn't push it because it didn't, it didn't, they, they couldn't play their victim card with it because women are only as good as the narrative that can be built around them. Please understand that that is exactly how these people think. Please understand it. Uh, no more remakes, reboots, blah, 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 blah. I guess they won't stop until they've made the reboots and rebooted the remakes. Does anyone in Hollywood have an original idea? Well, Christopher Nolan does, but outside of that, pretty much nobody does. It is pathetic. It is absolutely pathetic that this continues to happen, but that's where we're at. That's where we're at with everything. And uh, <laughs> that's actually uh, that's a good caption right there. That's a really good caption. Um... <laughs> Good stuff. That's right there. That says it all. Like, seriously, why do they continue to do this? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Well, I mean, I do understand it. I say I don't understand it, but I actually do. Because, again, once this comes out, it will be a failure. And then once it's a failure, then they can play the victimhood behind it and say everybody's intimidated by women. Yet when you have Alita, when you have these other awesome female-led movies that are successful and everybody loves... You can't paint your victim card narrative around it, therefore you don't even acknowledge it because it doesn't exist. Much like Ahsoka doesn't exist in the Star Wars universe because they can't build their victim narrative around that. It's, it's all it is with them. That's all they care about. And this right here will be a massive disaster if they do it. So go ahead, do it so we can watch it crash and burn, and then you guys can build your victim card narrative around it. That's fine with me. It'll be Ghostbusters all over again. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.